today we are going to study the next topic that is protein the structure of proteins so basically friends we have four types of protein structure that is primary structure secondary tertiary and quaternary structures also called as one degree two degree three degree and four degree structures so first of all we have to study the primary structure of proteins primary structure of proteins are nothing but just the simple polypeptide chain of amino acids if we consider amino acids a chain of amino acids a chain of amino acids present like this this is known as a primary structure of protein or one degree structure of a protein so primary structures are present in linear form they are there is no folding of polypeptide chains in primary structures these are the simplest proteins or simplest structures of protein now we will discuss the structure of two degree proteins or secondary proteins so we have secondary structures that is two degree structures so secondary structure of proteins are formed by folding of primary structures two primary structure or two polypeptide chains are coiled together to form secondary structures these polypeptides in secondary structures of proteins are held together by hydrogen bonds and this coiling may be in the form of alpha helix or beta plated alpha helix of coiling alpha helix coiling is in the right handed fashion and example is alpha keratin alpha keratin is found in hair and nails of mammals and beta keratin is found in reptiles scales scale of reptiles scale of reptiles and feather of birds now we will discuss the how alpha helix and beta plated structures are formed so we have alpha helix and beta plated structures now take a look on both alpha helix are formed in the right handed fashion and formed somewhat in this manner there is a pitch of 5.5 Four angstrom and the polypeptide chains. These are the polypeptide chains. Polypeptide chains. These polypeptide chains are held together by hydrogen bonds. And in earlier amino acid videos, we discussed about the formation of polypeptide bonds. The bond, hydrogen bond, is formed between CO, carbon oxygen, and amino group how this is how the bone formation takes place in alpha helix so alpha helix is, is found in right hand fashion while beta plated is these are the polypeptide chains polypeptide chains this is hydrogen bonding ya hydrogen bond this is hydrogen bond and there is also a pitch of 7 angstrom this is how beta plated structures are formed in proteins this is hydrogen bond and this is polypeptide chains beta plated structures are found in scales of reptiles and feathers of birds now we'll take a look on tertiary structure of proteins now we have tertiary structure that is three degree structures tertiary structure of proteins is formed by folding of secondary structures many secondary structures are formed together are coiled together to form a tertiary structure in tertiary structures there may be uh, several types of bonding may presents later on we will discuss about these type of bonds in structure due to tertiary structures protein become globular and the structure of protein looks somewhat like this we are drawing this structure just for our convenience to understand the structure, uh, structure of tertiary proteins this is called as active site active site this is called as active site 
where the substrate can bind to an enzymes so all the enzymes are found to be present in tertiary structures all the enzymes are always present in tertiary structures this is called as active site and now we will take a look on how tertiary structures of proteins are formed okay now we will see that how tertiary structure of proteins are formed so for our convenience let us consider we have a CO group here and a NH group on the opposite side so there is always attraction between the hydrogen bond formation between carbon and uh, that is hydrogen and oxygen so there is a attraction between CO and NH this is called as hydrogen bonding hydrogen bond again we have a amino acid named as cysteine that contains sulfur we have cysteine amino acid here and on the opposite side two cysteine so the sulfur containing amino acids that contain sulfur so there is an attraction between these sulfurs and they makes a bond named as disulfide bond di disulfide bond again we have COO negative group and on the opposite side we have a NH3 positive group so there is also an attraction between positive and negative and they together forms a ionic bond ionic bond again in here we have a alkyl group and on the opposite side the another alkyl group so these alkyl groups are hydrophobic in nature and there is an attraction between when we put this protein structure in water so there is an attraction between these two hydrophobic molecules and they forms a cluster and this is known as hydrophobic interaction or hydrophobic bonding hydrophobic interaction so friends this is how the many types of bonds are formed in tertiary structure tertiary structure of proteins how the different type of bonds are formed in tertiary structure now we will talk about the quaternary structure of proteins now we have quaternary structure quaternary structures are, are formed by four polypeptide chains in which two chains are alpha helix and two chains are of beta plated beta plated two chains of alpha helix and two chains of beta plated now how these chains are present together to form a quaternary structure so let us let consider we have a alpha helix chain the another alpha helix chain and the third one is first beta plated and the fourth beta plated like this we have four polypeptide chains each is of 3 degree 3 degree polypeptide chains alpha helix and 3 degree beta plated two alpha helix and two chains of beta plated so this in this structure each unit is known as protomer protomer a single unit of quaternary structure is known as protomer so there are total four units so it may call as tetramer it may also called as tetramer two of alpha helix and two polypeptide chains of beta plated quaternary structure is the most stable structure and now we will talk about the complexity of proteins if we talk about the stability of proteins so the primary structure of proteins are the less stable and the quaternary structures are the most stable structures of protein so friends handwritten notes are available for this topic uske liye aapko is video pe comment karna hoga then i will provide the link for handwritten notes please like share and subscribe to your friends jisse ki aur zyada students is video ka fayda utha sake thank you